Hi there, good morning. You're with English Coach. I'm Simon and I'm here to talk to you today about finding your direction in life. It is something many people think is impossible and some people think is very, very easy to do. People that think it is impossible to do are probably closer to the realistic answer because it is challenging. It is more difficult to find your direction in life because there are some really difficult steps to take. And when we talk about finding your direction in life, what is the easiest and most motivating way of stipulating exactly what would give you direction in your life? And the answer is finding out what you really want. So one question provokes the other question, finding out what you really want. Finding out what you really want also isn't very easy, but it's much easier than finding your direction because finding your direction is, is more complex than that, isn't it? So finding out what you want means a lot of testing. It means that if you're young, if you're between the ages of sort of like 16 to, to even 30 years old, there's still more testing for you to do. There's still more activities and experiences that you haven't had yet that you need to have, that you need to go through so that you can amass enough experience and enough uh, knowledge about the world to really decide what it is that you want in, in life. Because it's no use deciding what you want in life if you haven't given yourself many experiences, many opportunities to enjoy life in different ways. Now, by that, I do not mean uh, finding immoral ways or or doing crazy crazy stuff based on a whim or based on your, your fantasies. It's not just about that kind of thing. It's about choosing things that you have never done before. And some of them can be crazy, but not so crazy. For example, you played football or tennis your whole life. Okay. So changing sport and going to something else, like something much different, like rock climbing or um, American football or just something completely different and giving yourself that experience. That is what I'm talking about. If it's for sport, uh, you've always been someone who's been good with their hands and you like building stuff. You like building stuff with wood. So you're going to take a few weeks to do some cooking, to learn how to do some cooking. Okay. And vice versa. Okay. It's about trying some new activities or some new things to see what you really want, what you really like to do. And if that is what you really want to do. And I say that for people from 16 all the way to 30, because what we tend to do is copy the things that we like and continue doing the things that we like again and again and again. And we are saying to ourselves, oh, this is great. This is my purpose. This is what I'm doing. But it's really not great. And it's really not your purpose. It's just what you're conditioning yourself to do and to become because you haven't given yourself a wider range enough of experiences so that you can make a better choice as to where you're going in your life. So the first thing you need to do is find out definitively what you want, not based on your current desires or your whims, but based on experimenting with different activities. Okay. Different knowledge areas, you know, different subjects different ideas that you've never researched before. Things that are outside of your area and not 
an intensification of the same thing. Now, there may be some things that you're just so adamant that they represent who you are and you want to take them to the next level. There's no problem with that. That's very interesting and that's really, really important to be able to do as well. But don't sell yourself short on not being able to, for example, go out and try something completely different just to see how it feels in your skin, just to see how it feels. Okay. The next point is when finding your direction in life is believe in what you want to do. So after you have ascertained exactly those things that you think, wow, these are these are things I'm good at. These are things I love and I want to do. By setting down these things that you want to do in your future based on the experiences that you've had and believing in them, believing in them. So it's not like, oh, these things are good. I could accept them, but oh, this is what I believe in religiously. Okay. And always adding to that, okay, not, not, not shutting everything else out and only focusing on that, of course, but believing in that as your basis or your platform for your direction in life. One of the things that comes up after many years of uh, finding out what you want and believing in what you want is confidence. So it's the kind of confidence that comes in the way you talk about what you do. There's an authority there in your voice because you know that you couldn't be doing anything else because you've already tried a lot of the other things, okay? You don't need to try everything, but you need to try a lot of things before you can be confident and believe in what you want and say, this is what I do, this is what I'm good at, and I can help you if you're interested in doing it, okay? So there's a lot of confidence in, in finding out what you want and believing in what you want. Okay, the second one is clarifying perception. So basically you have a perception in life. This perception gets a lot clearer when you know exactly what you want and you believe in what you want. So your perception of life becomes clear. Things become simpler. You have less of those days when you wake up and you say, where am I? Who am I? What am I, go wh what am I going to do with my life now? You have less of these days and more of these days of, wow, this is who I am. This is what I've been doing. And every day I seem to build on it. And I seem to get more and more positive experiences out of doing this. And like I said, don't start too early. Don't think by 18 or 20 years that you've got your solution, you know? You need to be able to experiment, make mistakes, fail before you find what you really want. Okay. Now, the third thing is trust in yourself. Now, it is it is connected to confidence, but it's not the same thing. Trusting in yourself is that ability of being able to let yourself make mistakes and also being able to let yourself take risks. Now, a lot of the reasons why banks make so much money from your money is they are able to take some risks. And the more calculated their risks or the, the easier it is to forecast their risks, the more money they make from you. And the thing about us is we need to become our own bank in terms of our risks. We need to be able to make, we need to be able to take risks, make mistakes, fail, and then go back to the original state that we're in and start again, learning from the risks that we took that didn't work, being able to forecast the consequences of our actions. And that is building a trust in ourselves, building a trust that things will be okay, even when shit happens. You know, not giving up on ourselves and saying to ourselves, I told you this would happen or uh, you failed. This is terrible. We're going to give up. You know, these kinds of attitudes stop you from following your direction. 
They stop you from being able to go where you want to go. Anyway, let me just briefly summarize what we've gone over today. Okay, so the first point is find out what you want by experimenting with things. Okay, experimenting with sports, experimenting with areas of expertise and professions. Okay, I'm talking about that specifically. Uh, then believe in what you want to do. You've done an, enough experimenting, enough studying to know that those areas are the areas that you want to get better in. And then see the rewards. What are the rewards here? Confidence. You have the self-confidence to face challenges and to, to go out and put your knowledge and put your skills to the test you know, without being afraid to do it. And then the second one, the second reward is clarifying your perception. Having that clarity when you wake up in the morning and knowing what your life direction is, like where you're going, where your north is, as they say, okay? And then the third one is trusting yourself, knowing that you're always going to be there for yourself. Imagine if you could be your own best friend and be completely trustworthy, that's what I'm talking about. And that's all part of the process of finding your own direction in life. So don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to find a little bit of variety. Okay. And I'm talking about professional things here, careers, uh, activity, sports, skills, you know, this kind of thing. Um, and then develop yourself through that process until you can find what you want and then believe in what you want to do, and you will have your life direction. Okay, thanks for being here today. Thanks for watching English Coach. It's been a pleasure to speak with you today, and I hope to see you here on my channel again for the next episode. Bye-bye.